I would like to share with you what one of our graduates currently studying at the USA had to say about the experience at Worcester. Beyond the academic grounding, my years at Worcester offered a unique social preparation for Dartmouth University. In Worcester, often without, no without noticing it, we were comfortable with difference. Diversity was our lived experience and not an anxious administration to go with. Here at Dartmouth, I'm an international student, a black person, a woman, all categories that check minority boxes. Yet I'm able to relate across definitions. And I think that's cool. Sometimes when I'm done talking about how I got here, people ask me to speak in my language. I usually respond with, come from. It was part of the name of my high school. It means we are one world, a world without distinction of race, color, or creed. The Water for Damsaba community is made up of students from various nationalities, tribes, races, and religions. As a result, many people may think that being in such a diverse community makes people lose their identity. But I think this is not always the case. The practicalities of being in such a school as Water for Damsaba helps one really question one's identity and what they stand for. When students come to Waterford, they are taught to challenge the assumptions of normality, where they learn, unlearn, and relearn, and hopefully they leave the college equipped with sufficient skills to make a meaningful, a meaningful contribution to society. As a school, we are especially mindful of our duty to give back as much as possible to the Swazi people. This is one of the reasons why our school our scholarship program for local students has always been at the heart of our mission. We are particularly pleased to mark our 50th anniversary with extra bursaries for grade 7 students from some of the most poorest communities in the country. All the people around the world and each and every one of us, we are learning from one, one another and we are, we are all, each and every one of us, we become inspiration in that way. Uh, may we have the last question by Agati. My name is Agat and I come from France. So, Your Majesty, what would you wish that people knew about Swaziland and its people? I hope many people will uh, know us very well. Uh, we are pleased, of course, that here in Waterford, Gamshaba, uh, the name Gamshaba means the world. Uh, that means we are united and we trust with all those who are here coming from outside uh, they should spread the good word about uh, the kingdom those uh, who are coming from outside joining the Swazis and become our unofficial ambassadors if I may so call that uh, wherever you are you, you talk about the kingdom you talk about the positiveness uh, because, you know, when you go to a country to study or to do anything, it's just more than that. You, you go there, you study, you learn about the people, you learn about the culture, you learn about the environment, uh, you look at the possibilities, you look at the opportunities which are there. Every country provides every opportunity there. Uh, of course, one of the best things we are always very proud is our peace and stability. Uh, you know, we've seen so many of our brothers and sisters who are suffering in many, many different parts of uh, our world. Uh, their life is very complicated. Uh, you see others, they left their homes. Uh, they are no longer staying with their loved ones. Some of them have died. Uh, some properties have been damaged. Uh, that people are living in fear on all these things. These are things here we, we don't worry about. That's the beauty about uh, the kingdom, which we, we want many people to know, that this is a, the most peaceful and loving nation, and it will always remain like that. Of salute! Of salute! Of salute!